Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you how you can easily access channel sites, Teams channel sites from the SharePoint uh, Admin Center. Uh, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. So uh, look, here I'm in Teams and I have uh, this, um, uh, you know, uh, one of the teams. And if you notice, I have a few channels here. For every standard channel, um, like this two over here, I have essentially behind the scenes it creates a folder. Uh, it creates a folder on a SharePoint site. Let me prove it to you. So uh, I am in this general channel. If I click on the files tab, if I click open in SharePoint, so here I have I have this um, dedicated SharePoint site uh, that was created when I created this team, and of course I now have a folder for each and every uh, standard channel. Uh, well, for private channels, uh, I have this management private channel. Uh, what happens behind the scenes, it creates a separate site. So let me click files here, open in SharePoint just to uh, prove the point. If you notice, um, let me click home over here. Uh, this is what it did behind the scenes. It created a dedicated, uh, a dedicated uh, SharePoint site, completely separate SharePoint site. And the naming convention is the name of the team dash the name of the private channel. Uh, now, um, let's say you have several, you know, private channels created, um, uh, you know, on a given team. You know, if let's say I'm a SharePoint admin right now, I have to deal with so many sites, right? Let's say I have a team with uh, 10 private channels. So now I have 11 sites to deal with, right? The one site that is created um you know just kind of by default right and then uh one for each and every private uh channel it even tells you over here it's a private channel site how do i um control all of this how do i uh, even access and see those sites uh without even being a member of the of a given team well let me let me show you how um so what you need to do and obviously you need to be a sharepoint admin for this uh, you need to access the sharepoint admin center so let me navigate to my SharePoint Admin Center. All right, uh, and under Active Sites, it's going to show you the list of um, all the sites that you have. And you will notice one of the columns that says Channel Sites. So let me scroll down and find uh, the team I'm looking for. All right, so I believe it was this SharePoint Migration Project right here. It tells me there is one site, all right? So if there were 10 sites, I would see 10 sites over here. So let, let me click here. And look, it actually shows me, it actually shows me the um, all the private sites that have been created, you know, uh, as part of this um, team, as part of this private channels. All right, so it kind of just drills down. And again, I only have one, but if I had 10, I would see 10 links over here. And other than, you know, it's pretty much, you know, behaves like any other site for the most part, right? You get the same statistics and everything. Uh, it has its own URL, which of course I can access as well. Uh, but this is how you would pretty much navigate and see which sites, um, which sites, um, you know, exist as part, as part of this channel. Uh, and it even tells me what's interesting, right? It even tells me over here, once again, it highlights the fact that it's a private channel site. And because it was created as part of the team, I'm not really going to, you know, manage uh, much, um, you know, on uh, uh, from, uh, uh, you know, from setting standpoint uh, from the SharePoint Admin Center. It really needs to be from permission standpoint and everything that needs to be managed from the teams uh, because it was created from Microsoft Teams. All right, um, so that's all I really wanted to show you in uh, um, this quick video. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a good rest of the day. Bye.